In this video, we are going to see how Azimax, the grower's favorite natural organic 3-in-1 pesticide, controls bugs on your plants. First, let's see how to prepare the solution of Azimax. Take the required amount of clean water, pour a small amount of water in a clean container. Take out a measured quantity of Azimax and add it to this water. Take out plain water and add this to the container. Repeat this three to four times to make sure all the Azimax in the pipette is added to the container with water. Mix it well and add the remaining water. Mix it thoroughly again. Now the Azimax solution is ready for foliar spray. Let's look at antifeedancy of Azimax first. For this we have taken two clean fresh leaf discs. We are spraying one leaf disc on the left side with Azimax solution. This will be called Azimax treated. The second leaf disc on the right side is sprayed with plain water. This will be called control. Spray thoroughly and leave these leaves to air dry. Now we are releasing 10 second stage larvae of armyworms starved for one hour on each of these treated and control leaves. One day after spraying, we observe almost similar feeding in the treated and control. After two days of spraying, feeding in the treated was a little lesser than the control. From the third day onward, leaves were replaced every day with untreated fresh leaves. From the third day after spraying, feeding by the larvae fed on treated leaves for two days started decreasing rapidly while in the control it started increasing. On the fifth day, the feeding completely stopped in the treated. This clearly shows once insect larvae or bugs feed on Azimax treated leaves, they slowly stop feeding even on the untreated leaves. This happens to more than 200 types of insect pest species. Now let's see the insect growth regulation action of Azimax. On the second and third days after spraying, not much difference was observed in the larvae. From fourth day onward in the control, the larvae started molting and growing to the next stage faster. Larvae were very active in control, but the Azimax treatment deformities were visible due to growth regulation from the fourth day onward. Larvae were smaller, not able to molt, and less active in the Azimax treatment versus the control. Larvae in the Azimax treatment started dying due to starvation and growth regulation from the fifth day. And on the sixth day, after spray, 100% mortality was observed in the treated. After seven days of spray, 100% of the larvae in the control molted into pupae. This shows what happens to bugs when they feed on Azimax treated plants. For further details, visit our website www.periamerica.com.